Hi, I'm Coach Alan Ross. Welcome to Questions Change Lives. And today's question is, what do you appreciate in your life? You know, for years, I've been told from many people, books and courses to adopt a practice of gratitude, where daily you give thanks for what you have in your life. And I get it. It's a powerful process for many reasons. And one practical reason that makes sense to me is that it's an antidote to our survival mindset. You see, we've evolved over millions of years to protect ourselves, to be on guard, to constantly monitor our environment for threats and problems, basically to look for what's wrong. And a practice of gratitude is the opposite. We're looking for what's right in our life, what we would give thanks for. So it counteracts this built-in process. But whenever I've sat down to give thanks, asking myself, what am I grateful for? The answers have just not come easily for me. I've struggled with it and not continued doing it on a regular basis. Then one day I realised that if I changed the word into what I appreciated in my life, I found it much easier to do. It was the same focus on what was right in my life. I felt the warm glow of positive appreciation and over time the growing sense that life was good. This is a practice that worked for me. It was something I could continue doing. And I don't know, maybe after practicing appreciation for a while, it may make the gratitude practice easier for me. We'll see. So if you're wanting to develop a practice of appreciation or gratitude, here's a few pro tips. If you find it challenging to get started, you can actually warm yourself into it. Build it up as you go. So when you consider the question, what do you appreciate in your life? You don't have to start with the biggest thing you most appreciate. You can start with something small and basic, like if you're outside, I appreciate the sun. If you're sitting, I appreciate this chair that I'm sitting on. If you're in bed, I appreciate the softness of these sheets. If you're in the shower, I appreciate the warmth of this water. Begin with small things to get the feeling of appreciation started. Then something magical happens. When you have the feeling state, you'll find it easier to think of the next thing you appreciate and then the next thing. And before you know it, you'll be on a roll. But remember, it's good to see many things in your life that you appreciate that are right. But it's more important to really bathe in the feeling of appreciation. As we bathe our neurology in this state, we condition ourselves to access this feeling more easily each time to condition ourselves to live from a place of appreciation. So to increase the feelings of appreciation, you can use a simple technique. When you state the thing you appreciate and feel the feeling, you can ask why. What is it about this that I appreciate? And as you recount your reasons, you'll deepen the feeling of appreciation as you associate or connect more fully to the experience. Thank you for joining me for this episode. I really do appreciate it. And I'll leave you with a question one more time for you to consider. What do you appreciate in your life?